What's up? And once again, it's out. <laughs> Here is the reason why Jay Bling and Tip had a run-in this weekend. Now, I'm late to the information because I was in the middle of doing a whole bunch of other things and you guys already know. So if you guys saw me in the live, you already know what time it was. Now, let me get to the gist of what this is all about. You guys have known the history of Floyd Mayweather and T.I. How these two guys just don't like each other. And it's all raised really one way. It's one person having a problem with another person and another person not thinking about that other person whatsoever. Okay? And all I can tell you is from the facts of how it was given to me. Because I was able to piece little by little by little. Now, from what I heard, they end up running into each other. Okay? That's it. They ran into each other. Completely done. T.I., we all know his disdain for Floyd. And Jay Bling is his DJ. He comes right through the door with the, you know, we we seen him at the dinner table with Tiny talking about you dancing with somebody that I'm at all with. I'm at all with him. <laughs> so anyway, he's at all with him. And since he's at odds with Floyd, he really made it his business to go after Floyd Mayweather. So, with that being said, you have a situation of him making these idle threads on the internet and talking about fighting and all this craziness. My thing is this. You don't ask for something you don't want to. But isn't he supposed to be the uprighteous brother man? Huh? Ain't he the, the uplifted brother man? That we all got to do better? Nipsey Hussle's death was like Iron Man in Avengers Endgame. Ain't, ain't that that, T.I.? <laughs> Comparing Nipsey Hussle to Iron Man? He was Tony Stark in the Avengers? And everybody needs to, like, get the microphone out of his hand. Cause he, just because he used, you know, big words, everybody thinks, like, he's talking really smart, and he ends up saying something really stupid. That, I got to tell you, when we lost Nipsey, that was like when the Avengers lost, lost Iron Man. Maybe cut his mic, please. Cut his mic. Hello? Something happened to my mic. One, two, one, two. I'm trying to talk, but it ain't gonna let me say nothing. I mean, I'm trying to, but it, the, mic ain't, the mic ain't working. Yeah, I need to get a new microphone. <laughs> so anyway, he goes in the restaurant, runs dead smack in the J blank, <laughs> and they, they have words. And while they having words, they had a conversation. And the conversation, from what I've been told, is that he's accusing Jay Bling of flirting and having, you know, feelings for Tiny. The DJ, the guy who's DJ for Floyd. I wouldn't necessarily call him the Floyd Mayweather DJ because our homeboy is like Floyd Mayweather's DJ too. <laughs> Opio. OPO is DJ for Floyd many a time. Been to his mom's house. After all this fights, you have DJ OPO out there. So, Jay Bling is just a, a 
DJ who Floyd, one of the DJ Floyd, you know, frequents with. But neither said no there. Tip thing that Floyd pushing Jay Blaine to flirt with Tiny. You know, that's just Tip's whole mind around everything. Man, look, look, Jay Blaine, you just a DJ, man. You spin records. All right? Now, that's a mad woman you talking about now. Now, you have fit into it, my wife, man. Look, that ain't cool. I did then you know right now, man, fools get a head buzz all the time. You know what I'm saying? Every dirt gonna have a foot step on that dirt. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be there. You won't be in the field where ain't nobody stepping on you. You know what I'm saying? Because you step over here, it's going to turn into quicksand. Real quick for you. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of head bustles around here, partner. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Tiny cool with me. I ain't got no problems with her. You know, I said she look good. And I still think she look good. And that's just that. See, that, there you go again, being disrespectful. And I bet you Floyd told you to say that. You know, he's very antistical about everything that's disappointing of everything that I talk about in anti-disestablishment terrorism. He manages in that. Now, he want to disenfranchise himself from all the accomplishments of better call Allison Melee. He won't do all that. Then yeah, we could do that too. I don't know what you just said, but I will say this. <laughs> Floyd's his own man. I do think she look good, and I got to go take a pee. I ain't got time to entertain this no more. Oh, you going to walk away and be unequivocal about this? All right, you going to walk away. Okay. That's a, that miscellaneous to me. Right, this man just gonna get up in the middle of my conversation and just gonna take a peek and relieve himself. Man, I'm outside. Man, remember how I told y'all to wait in the car because only I was gonna get something to eat? Yeah. Man, that's who I seen in there. Floyd DJ. The one that liked my wife. He's trying to destroy me. You know what? Y'all need to go in there and, and teach him a lesson. Well, it, he in the bedroom now? Yeah, yeah. Go get him. All six of y'all go. Go get him. Let's go, guys. Yeah! Hey, Mr. DJ, what? This is my favorite song. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ow, oh, oh, oh. Hey, get out of here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, man, what that dude scratch my face. Oh man, Damn. Scratch my face. Yeah, that's a couple of scratches. Man. How you jump somebody and they don't have to get stitches? That's a shame, Tim. That's a shame. You think this man wants your wife? And Floyd is putting him up to it. This boy has really got Floyd. Floyd ain't even in the country. Floyd has been touring. He's been in a Hong Kong. <laughs> He's been all over the place. He's in Dubai right now. Okay? He's not thinking about tip. And you over here trying to jump DJ. But then trying to uplift the brothers. I don't know which tip you are right now and which insanity of your mind that you're stuck in, but you really need to get out the muck. This is way beyond anything of intelligence. Jay don't drop you from the movement, bro. Can we hello? The tip. Um listen. I just heard it. Is this even real? Because, you know, I don't really be on the internet like that. <laughs> Are you out here jumping DJs at restaurants? <laughs> Is that what we doing? No, see, man, you don't understand. It by my wife, dude. And then what if that was Beyonce? Beyonce would never eat there. Listen, it's not about us. It's about you. 
how do you think that make us look when I'm on the internet and everywhere I go, I'm seeing how you in a restaurant jumping a DJ. You know, how, how are we going to get our movement? How are we going to go where we supposed to go? When you're doing that, don't you, you sound crazy. If you're talking about uplifting people, but you jumping DJs in a doggone Barnabies. You in a Texas steakhouse jumping DJs. Sounds crazy right now. Sounds a little crazy. Don't you think? I mean, look, look here. The man disrespected. I went there and I talked to him like a gentleman, right? I left. And then the people that were with me decided to do what they were going to do. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I tried to stop them. Listen, I'm going to say this because I think you're intelligent enough to let it sink in. I didn't let my hair grow out long enough for this. Listen, I think you understand what I say. That I'm serious when I'm talking to you right now. You know, you're not talking to the internet. You're talking to me. I'm serious. Let it go, man. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> and that's what Jay gonna give him. You better drop this thing right now. I don't want to hear no more words. No nothing. Nobody got jumped. Nothing. Or you gonna be... <laughs> you gonna be on Love and Hip Hop for real. <laughs> Forever. He gonna, he gonna sell you over to Mo, Mona Scott now. You gonna be old ways over there and only. You will not be at the new Rockefeller brunch. Because this level of stupidity is just at an all time high when it comes to you. I mean, you doing all this for a woman who has been by your side, has never cheated on you. And it's probably the most loyal person in your whole existence of not knowing somebody who put up with this type of mental abuse that you have applied to this woman. And yet, that's not Floyd's fault. There's nobody's fault but yours. You the one running around cheating. You the one running around not be doing the things the right way. You. So don't put your insecurities off on nobody else. <laughs> yeah. And I know she listened to this video. She's going to be, now he kind of telling the truth right there, Tip. Now right there, I'm telling you, right there, though, he telling the truth. You might not like what he's saying, though. I mean, you still the kind. But, but he telling the truth, though. <laughs> Did I ask you to say anything? Spent millions on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm out, man. Don't forget to donate to the page. <laughs> Click the link in the description box. Uh, hit that straight lab up. Leave me a message there or hit the cash app up. My name is Carcino on the cash app. I'm out.